Hey there, Salt Strong Nation. It's Joe Simons, and this is the Salt Strong Newsletter. I'm here today in beautiful Winter Haven, Florida, getting some videos done here. I'm gonna get a little bass fishing in as, uh, as well. But this is the newsletter. This is where we tell you everything that happened last week, then talk about all the future fishing tips for this coming week so that you don't miss anything. First and foremost, we just got back from an event. We had a Salt Strong Insider event. It was done by one of our members, James Sauer. James, amazing job, by the way. We were there at E.G. Simmons Park for uh, three days, two nights. We camped out, kayak, boated, caught a ton of fish, grilled out, had an awesome Cinco de Mayo, told a lot of stories around the campfire. And uh, man, just what a blast. So thank you for everyone that came out. And thank you for the group that helped save that family. There's actually a family that uh, flipped over in their kayak with a really young kid in there. Thankfully, the kid had a life jacket on, but uh, they were struggling, it was really deep, a lot of water movement. And uh, we actually got out there and, and helped save them and brought them uh, safely to shore. So a uh, huge kudos to all of you that were a part of that. That was uh, awesome to kind of witness that. And I know that uh, certainly changed that, uh, that family's uh, day. They were, uh, they were certainly panicked. And once again, awesome, awesome job. So let's talk about all the tips from last week first. The very first one was how to fish a spoon like a pro. Captain C.A. Richardson gives some tips on how to fish a spoon a little bit more effectively. A lot of the stuff that most people are messing up and doing incorrectly, this is after 30 years of his experience of how to really optimize and maximize your strikes using a gold or silver spoon. The other one was a review that we did. It was Power Pro, one of our favorite brands that we like to use, and we're not sponsored by them, but it's our favorite one personally, versus a new one called Godline. There's been a lot of talk, especially in some of the freshwater and now it's leaking over in the, in the salt water as this brand called Godline. Kind of an odd name to name uh, your company uh, Godline, but then again, it's getting a lot of play, so we want to put them side by side and show you which one is truly better and why. So insiders, you're going to love that one if you haven't seen it yet. The next one, Captain Peter Deeks talks about the truth about using bobbers and popping corks when it comes to live bait, when you should use them and when you should absolutely avoid them. Insiders, you've got to check that one out. Awesome. Tony brought his Paddledale Mastery. It's like literally everything you want to know about fishing a Paddledale. How, how, to, how to rig it, how to retrieve it, when you should use it, when you should not use it, right depths, etc. In right colors, I mean, he literally goes into everything you want to know about paddle tails. Awesome video. The next one, docks versus nat natural structure. This is how to fish docks versus natural structure in there, and then which one is better and why. Then we have another report that we'll be posting here any minute from this past weekend, show you all the fish that we caught around the E.G. Simmons area. Now on the public side of things, we had the best fishing coolers for fishermen. There's a lot of talk about coolers and which brand's better, etc. And we laid out there, as you know, at Salt Strong, we have zero sponsors. We actually say no to all sponsors. We don't take any kind of money or any kind of endorsements. So we actually tell you exactly which ones we like and why, the pros and cons of all these coolers and what we found, if you watch the video, is that there's not a perfect cooler, shocking, or a perfect cooler brand. Each cooler has its own unique reason for being good on a specific time. For instance, we went camping this weekend. There's certain coolers I'm gonna take camping and certain ones I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave home. If I'm out in a kayak, certain coolers I'm gonna have on my kayak or paddleboard, and certain coolers I'm gonna leave at home. So check out that one, it's an awesome public tip. We also have Peter Miller catching a 100, 120 pound tarpon or so in downtown Miami all by himself. You gotta check out that video, it is amazing. And for you insiders, you're gonna get the full behind the scenes video of all the stuff that went down and all the tips on just how he made that happen. It's not easy to actually land a 120 pound tarpon by yourself, especially with all the structure that he had to navigate through. It was uh, pretty, pretty awesome. He teaches you exactly how to move that fish where you want it to at least a little bit better uh, uh, than if you were just trying to do it on your own and, uh, and trying to wing it. Now, the other thing was the $500,000 inshore fishing tournament. That's our friends there at CCA, the star tournament. We had Lisa Fitzgerald on the Fish Strong podcast. Really amazing podcast and really amazing tournament. Luke and I uh, both entered. I know Luke's been there every, every year, I think except for the first year he missed it. And there are just so many ways to win. We've had a few insider members who've actually won boats before. I mean, some really, really cool stuff. And you don't have to have the biggest trophy fish. A lot of it is kind of like a raffle. Every fish that you're catching for the 101 days of this tournament gets entered into the specific species. And uh, there are just so many different ways to win it. So check out that $500,000 inshore fishing tournament. We call it 500,000 because that's how many prizes are up 
for grabs. Then finally, we have the perfect spot to catch inshore fish like redfish, snook, and trout. This is something that we did a little while back. It was incredibly popular. Uh, we took it down, it's kind of been hidden. It's a three-part video series. All you have to do is put your name and email in, you get all three videos. And it's it's really how to find the actual like perfect ideal spot to catch redfish and snook and trout all year long. So check that one out, they're all down below. And then for this coming week, we're gonna have a new tip with Captain C. Richardson on artificial lures, one on Peter Deeks with uh, Live Bait. We're gonna have some Peter Miller tips coming up as well. Also, be on the lookout for some Snook Mastery stuff with Captain C. Richardson. The course is now completely done. It's over 50 videos. There's like 11 bonus videos. I mean, this thing is awesome. I don't think anyone has actually just made snook fishing that simple before. I've gone through it now once, and uh, and even though I was there for filming, I'm learning stuff again just watching this thing. Man, that is just so brilliant, so, so simple. He makes snook fishing simple for you, whether you're fishing with artificial lures or live bait. So that's it. If you have any tips that you want to hear from us, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Fish at saltstrong.com. And then finally, if you're not an Insider Fishing Club member yet, you can see just how much fun we're having. We're putting on events now. We're doing some really, really neat things just to help you become a more consistent and more confident fisherman. It only costs 27 cents per day. If you can't afford 27 cents per day, then I'm guessing you're probably not out there fishing. So we made it affordable for anyone, and it even comes with 100% money back guarantee that you will be having more fun, that you will have more confidence, you will be more consistent after being in this club for a year or you pay zero. It's completely for free. So click down below to apply. It is an application process. We do not accept everyone, but we would love to give you a shot at it. See if you're a fit and have you part of the Insider Fishing Club family. That's it for this week. Thank you guys so much. Tight lines. Pow!